They're calling this year in the movie business and television business the year of the hunk. A lot of us are getting very popular again. And we have with us today uh, a gentleman who has become really hot in Hollywood. He's the star of last season's NBC series called Voyagers. Recently, he starred with Dynasty's uh, Joan Collins in a television movie called The Making of a Male Model. And it was... Uh, grabbing, clutching their hearts out there. It, uh, it was one of the highest rated shows of uh, the week. He also has a poster, which you'll see here, uh, that is selling quite well. All right, would you welcome him? John Eric Hexham. Boy, the minute I mention the name of that movie, I saw this girl go, oh. Did little hearts beat all over the United States for that one? Did you get a lot of mail? A lot of mail, yes. Yeah. Right. Still, it hasn't been that long. We were only on last Sunday. Yeah, the big or reaction. A week child. or two ago. Yeah, no, it went very well. When that goes that well, do offers come in the very next day? Do, are phone calls made all over Hollywood and say, let's get him and let's... Yeah, pretty. The next morning, it was on Sunday night, and Monday morning we had quite a few calls. Did you? Yes, for. Have you seen things. anything come in that you like so far? Yeah, in yeah. the way of scripts. Yes, yes, and there's a lot, of, lot of nebulous offers for for projects in general yeah. that they do, like development deals, that sort of thing. Yeah. There's some things come that way. Before the Voyagers, you, uh, you just seemed to come out of the blue. I did. I was uh, right up the street, Sunset Boulevard. Boulevard. Waiting and, for an and, offer? Or? Yeah, I was work, I was the, the uh, doorman at uh, the Seven Seas. And right down, right down the street at the lingerie. Oh, the, 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 uh -huh. the New Wave Club. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. New Wave and Punk Place, and I worked a couple places down at the beach. You were the doorman and went from doorman into starring in a television series? Yes, there's quite a change. How does, <laughs> how does that happen? You open the door for a producer one night? No, not, not really. We, see, I, I had been to, to a whole bunch of auditions. The Voyager was my 357th, so it, was, it wasn't something I actually tripped over. And I'd been to, to many things, and we had some, some offers before that yeah. for, for different things, development deals, and to replace some people on shows that are already running. But we're just waiting, and some soaps, things like that. But not really very strong offers, so just waiting to see what was maybe going to come up. And I had read the script of Voyager, and I liked it very, very much. Great fun, a great character. Right. Harrison Ford yeah. sort of guy. Yeah. Interesting jobs before, doorman? Drove a cab here. Answered a lot of telephones. Answered Charles Bronson's phone for a while. A few different phone services and things like that. Ah. I, I worked Did he get any good calls? Nothing I can discuss right here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah. Worked for Harry's Rug Cleaning Service. What was that? Of Hollywood. You know, like they come in when the restaurants close around 12 midnight. Yeah. And you clean the rugs about 6 in the morning. You set the chairs back up, and then you, you're free for the rest of the day. I did that for a while. You paid your dues. Yeah, though I was only I was here for about four months before we got the show, so things went very quickly that way. Though I lost a lot of jobs because I was always going to auditions and things like that. Right. And that happens two, three times, and they tell you they hit the road. Mm. You can't take that mm. very long. And I had been in New York for eight months before that. And studying? Or... Job. Yeah, studying with a lot of different, different teachers and doing small plays, did a lot of musicals. That's a like great... That. Speaking voice, you have my word. Thank you. Way down here. Uh, Studied? <laughs> yeah. Well, I had studied I, with a lot of different things, you know, dance classes and voice classes and acting classes, that sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done a lot of musical comedy in New York. Actually, that's all I had done. Voyages was the first time I got paid. And before that, it was all freebies. Mm -hmm. what, what'd you do with that first money? Bought some things. <laughs> Page your bills yeah. from all Don't those. Don't buy any clothes. I get these for these for free. This is from the movie. Oh yeah. Yeah. And these are too. Um, I I haven't really actually I haven't done anything except make pretty much business investments for the the lean periods and 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 hopefully to option some scripts to find some jobs when people aren't offering to me. It's interesting how they immediately ran with all kinds of publicity of an implied romance between you and Joan Collins right away, huh? Yeah, it was I, it was shocking in a way. I, I expected it somewhat, because when I first read with her, and we, we got the job, and I, I spoke to her afterwards when we went to rehearse, and, and she said, oh, darling, we'll be having a little romance. You just should wait and see. I, I thought she was kidding, or, or maybe a little bit serious, and then it 
really got way out of hand. Yeah. My see. mom's calling me up saying it's not true. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Was your mom worried about an older woman in your life? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> How'd you feel about really. that situation in, in the plot, in the story? With an older woman? Yeah. Maybe? Let's be political now. Um, no. No, no, not at all. As far, I've never really had that experience, and so I don't, I don't know. But, uh, but the love scenes seem to go very well. Oh, the yeah. ones I well, saw. See, yes, but <laughs> no, there wasn't a problem. There was no problem with it. Joan, she's she's very contemporary. She's very much, not like a whole lot of older people really. She's she's very yeah. with things that are going on now. She, right. she goes to a lot of clubs in town and goes dancing a lot. That you know, the the more young people do that sort of thing and she's very in touch with things you know the the media i yeah. suppose because she's in it also and, and with dynasty and because of the people that she comes in contact with so i, I got along real well with her do you feel you know you always read about uh very sexy girls in uh films they always give interviews saying that they felt as though they were exploited in this town only for their bodies and uh, now the reverse is happening because they're doing it to the guys do you feel exploited? Not, not really. Oh, come on. Look, see, let me, let me explain. What am I going to say? Um, not really, because Voyage was a good part. He, Phineas Bogg, the role I played, was a, was a, a fine character. Right. With, with a lot of different colors. So was Tyler Burnett who had played in, in Male Model. Yes, he took his shirt off a lot, and they, they pumped that a whole lot, and they made a deal with the poster company, and they pushed that, and they pushed it in TV Guide and advertising. And, uh, and certainly the, when I saw the promos, I was really shocked. I said, my God, I don't have my shirt off that much. But that, it sells a lot, and, and it, it certainly worked for them. So I, I can't argue with their, their marketing strategy for, for that, but... They're seeing, they're seeing some... Oh. That's it. Even the Merv Griffin show. Oh. I tell you. Pretty greased up there. Yeah, well, you see, there's certain things you got to do within the, the confines of the character. <laughs> you know. And they, right. they push those things a lot, but I, I'm not worried about it. I have to be careful in subsequent roles and keep my shirt on. Right. And keep it, keep it as, as Would you like now to do possible. some more, head your career toward more serious? Oh, yeah. Work? Yeah. In yeah. the style of whom? Uh, I, I like Donald Sutherland a lot. Um, I like a lot of things that, that uh, Burt Reynolds does. Though I like to do things a, a bit more serious than that. Um, and, and some of the movies that I like, The Big Chill, I love that movie that's out now. The Big Chill? Yeah, and, and, and Risky Business and Ordinary People, Kramer vs. Kramer, that sort of thing. Uh, I, I like a lot. Though you have to have some eye to being commercial as, as well. It's very important to sell tickets to get another job. Right. So you kind of split the difference a bit. And you, and as you go along, you get more choice. Right. And that's all part of the business, is getting freedom and choice to do what's important to you, what, what means something. What is that name, John Eric Hexham? Mine. I know. Yes. <laughs> the ethnic. It's, it's Norwegian. Oh, it is Norwegian, yeah. right. Yeah. Family from Norway? A wise guy, huh? <laughs> yes. Everybody's from Norway. My mom's name is, is Greta. My, my brother's name is Gunnar, and my father's name is Thor. So I got the most... Thor, I got the Coonard, most, and John Eric. I got the most regular one, at least. Ah, those you know. are great names. Very mm -hmm. good. All right, let me take a break, and we'll come back with John Eric Hexum. Ah!